guys, I have a problem. I have a problem. My problem is called carbs. Like this, this is how I'm spending my time. I'm baking and I'm eating sugar and flour. I need some help. Can I have some suggestions for me? Because this, this is not sustainable. I mean, it's good, but it's not sustainable. I had a little help. Looks good. I it all myself. Looks good. Alice, you got something for me? What is that? Where? We are sharing with you a, a dinner of fresh vegetables, grilled chicken, farm fresh vegetables, corn, squash, green beans, red bliss potatoes, and a mixture of mushrooms, onions, and red peppers, and for dessert, Greek yogurt to top it all off. Oh, uh, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Kelly? Well, I um, I have to start my morning off with the same old, same old, which is some Greek Chobani vanilla yogurt with some fresh fruit, whatever I have, strawberries, grapes, blueberries, and then a couple of little sprinkles of the quick oats. Because if I don't do that, I'm snacking all day. So at least to get me settled in and start the day, to get it going. So Shane, what do you got going on? Well, maybe you don't have time to cook a huge meal. Maybe you have eight twins who won't leave you alone. Maybe time just slips through your fingers and all of a sudden you haven't eaten. I recommend baby carrots. Great snack, quick, delicious. Then you might think, that's really boring. Um, how can I spice up my baby carrots? I recommend hell of a good French onion dip. It's not super healthy. However, and it's not good for your breath, but it's a great, like, it's great with carrots. So for a quick snack, relatively healthy, can't go wrong. Um, Jess Stewart, what about you? I happen to love that dip with some potato chips. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you I almost held up a bag of potato chips, but that's not what we're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, like Kelly, I have to start with a decent breakfast. Sometimes it's yogurt with just some jelly, because I can't stand plain flavored yogurt, but I know it's better for me. And pistachios, that was this morning. Or Barrett's uh, fresh eggs from her chickens. Those are delicious. Um, and then for lunch, sometimes I'm going to go with my avocado toast and I throw some tuna in it just to add up some protein that way. Kind of filling, but if not, my favorite might be peanut butter and banana, which has uh, got everything, all the good stuff in it and it just makes me feel like a kid. So that's my lunch usually. And uh, how about you, Barrett? Speaking of Barrett and her eggs. Wow, oh, okay, yeah, well, we have no shortage of eggs around here. Um, however, those hens, they're wacky. But when I'm not eating eggs, um, I made these delicious, can you see them? Snuff no, peppers. Oh, um, oh. And I'm gonna be playing delicious. my own peppers shortly, but they are yum. And they have, these are actually vegetarian stuff, so there's actually no meat in them. You can't, you can't they're yummy with meat too. Um, but anyway, delish. I would recommend them? them highly. What do you and think? What about you, Joyce? Oh, Barrett. Um, for me, for breakfast, I like to start out with some oatmeal, but sometimes I like to switch it up and have a bowl with bananas, berries, peanut butter, and homemade granola. Wow. Okay, and as we move forward throughout the day or nighttime, um, here we have Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, uh, mushrooms, baked chickpeas, and Parmesan cheese. Potato? Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Potato? Sweet potato. Potato? potato. And, or you want to call them yams, you can. Um, and then we have a little trot along turkey ball, turkey meatballs. And these are very healthy. They have Parmesan cheese in them as well. Um, they're great for leftovers for the next day for your lunch. And we have 
Who did the stuff, stuffed peppers, Barrett? Was I did. That, you know, um, I have one with turkey inside, a little Parmesan cheese on top. Love that Parmesan cheese, huh, Joyce? Yeah. Yeah, we're a little cheesy people here. And then another sweet potato, veggie uh, kind of meal there. We have uh, eggs on top. Great for dinner or breakfast, a little spinach on it. Wait, is, are, did you actually make all of those things? Like, are those? Oh, I have to tell you, the truth is, I didn't make any of these. <laughs> these were all made by alumni Molly Freeman. Okay, oh, Molly oh, Freeman oh, oh. is my cook, so she's the chef here. That is awesome. That's awesome. I want you to know I can cook a little bit of something. Okay. Anyway, must be nice to have an in-house chef. Moving on. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> who's, who's next? Krista? I'll talk. So everyone at my house knows I'm the resident soup maker. I love making soup. I make it in my crock pot. I make it in separate pots. This is my go-to cookbook. It's called Among Friends. And it has this great soup section and pretty illustrations. And I make everything in it. You've got chicken soup. You've got different Italian soups, minestrone, chili. And then I also have my just trusty, as you can see, ripped up crock pot cookbook. I love the beef stew. That's a big one for me. And they're super easy. You make them in the morning, forget it all day, go back and you've got yourself dinner. That's my favorite thing to do. You this, know, Jen, I'm hoping this was helpful to you. Do you feel like you have some ideas? I do. Yeah, I wish. Oh, I'm I so glad. Jen, yeah, I, I get some of that bread, Jen. Jen, Jen we'll oh, take okay. some of the bread. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a trade. It's a deal. I got bread. I got cake. I'll trade you for some real food. I got eggs. <laughs> you got eggs. Then, similar to Joyce and Barrett, I do a um, breakfast stuffed pepper. Uh, yeah. Put a little uh, ma apple maple chicken sausage, an egg, um, some pe uh, it's in a pepper. Uh, put a little cheese on top. Throw an egg. Throw it in the oven. Ready to go. Delicious. Ooh, Yum. Yum. Nice. A little avocado with it. Yeah. Nice. All right. There's hope yeah. for me. Good luck, Jen. Yeah. It is, Jen. Okay. And you can have that cake for dessert, but yeah. you know, it's still there for you. <laughs> it's still there for me. Thanks, guys. Good luck, Jen. Anytime, Jen. Good luck to everybody. Hope <laughs> okay.